I got vaccinated for COVID like a week ago. My roommate was like, why do you still have the band-aid on? Because I think it looks cool. I don't know where we're gonna start because I feel like this is too much and I'm overwhelmed. I don't want to show you my closet because it's so ugly. Zero organizational furniture. There's just no organization in general. Lots of things aren't even folded. I'm just embarrassed that my closet looks like this. There's one section for sweatshirts and then one section for pants. Then there's like some various shorts because I don't really own that many. And these are just anonymous blanket, scarf, I don't know. So here I have all my scrubs. They don't like sit properly. Jeans hanging, like why? Should be up with the pants. And then there's a bunch of coats. Then there's a huge bit of workout clothes which I'm gonna tackle in a later video because I feel like I cannot try everything on today. And down here, I don't wanna look at it. These are like tank tops and tops. Here's the game plan. I'm either gonna donate or am I gonna sell? If I donate it, it's gonna be really old stuff or just like ugly things that nobody wants or things that I got for free. If I sell it, it's gonna be either in Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace and it'll all be linked down below. I will also have the links for all the other clothes that I keep in case you wanna buy it. I do believe we should start with pants. I'm gonna try on most of my stuff. Just like not like super recent ones and then I know I'm gonna keep first there's these pants which are great and I'm not getting rid of them because they fit nice they're from Shein I'll link them below um, I got them at a thrift store I was always very into these trousers like I have a million of them honestly they're sick I will wear these soon I remember these they're from a haul that I did on misguided have I ever worn them no super cool they have like a pinstripe pattern they're like little joggers. These pants actually come in a set with this top. Yeah, I've never worn this set either. This is how it looks. I'm selling this one. Whole set, like 15. These are for my mom. She'd be so mad if I got rid of them. But I never reach for them. I don't reach for half of these clothes in my closet. And I feel like really the issue is that I don't go searching for it. I'm just never wearing skinny jeans again. They don't look good on me. I don't know why we're trying to make this work. Can I sell these? For sure. We've entered a realm of skinny jeans and we cannot leave. These are just too long on me. If you have regular size legs, that would be great. All these jeans make your butt look incredible. Too self-conscious about my legs to wear these ever. I used to wear these jeans religiously. Like these were my go-to. Whenever I wanted to feel spicy, it was these ones. Can't say the same anymore. Those days were gone when I used to just walk around and flaunt my entire body. I was young and I was great. These are actually quality jeans, but this gives you an incredible shape. All these skinny jeans are from a brand called Monotiques. They're kind of like Fashion Nova, but better. <laughs> I have these since freshman year of college. Time to say goodbye. These black jeans, I'm not even joking, were my bread and butter. I wore these all the time, but you know the drill. Selling. These are my uncle's Levi's. Still don't understand the math behind that. How do I wear these? Do I wear them often? No. I feel like it's a very special piece you have to style them properly. Okay, these are my mom's and I really like them even though I've never worn them. But I love the color, I love the corduroy. I can't let these go, so I'm not going to. Alright, these jeans I just got from YesStyle. If you want to watch the whole haul, I will link it below. It is very tight on the waist and very straight through the legs, so I have minimal complaints and I will be keeping this. Some trousers from Lens and these are not something fashionable in any sense. This is strictly for interviews. I wouldn't even wear this to an interview because I want to feel confident in it. Now, if I ever want to look more mature and less stylish, then these are the ones I'm going for. And I also have to keep them because they're from Land's End and they cost my mother a lot of money and she talks about it all the time. And I say yes, I still have those pants. And now we have these jeans. I love these jeans. They're from Shein. They're an extra small. Still keeping them. These are also for my mom. Like she just has passed down so many pairs of pants that I love because look at the shape of these. They're just like wide, but then they're tapered. They're super snug at the waist because that's just their sizing back then, I guess. They're extremely old. I don't think I will ever let these go until I cannot fit them anymore. And then I will try to pass them to my daughters. Also for my mom, great pair of pants. I wore these to my high school graduation. I'm just always worried that I'm gonna get something on it and then I feel bad because it's this is vintage and special place in my heart. The brand was British India, by the way. I got these in a market in Malaysia. Again, never reach for things that are in my closet. Why? I'm keeping these. From Urban Outfitters and honestly, they're a little small. They are. I don't know, I forced myself into them like two years ago when I went to Universal Studios. Greatest time of my life, by the way, but I don't think I've worn them since then. They're such awesome pants though. I'm having a bit of a dilemma, I think I should keep them, but also I've never worn them. Sell them. Okay, I mean, I wear these all the time. Obviously I'm keeping them. 
but just want to say my favorite leather pant from charcoal clothing there's also these trousers from shein i don't wear these that often so now nah, keep them i guess i watched some videos on how other people do this because there's no way they turn on everything in their closet <laughs> Why? Why? All right, this the greatest tank top of all time, AliExpress, and I think it was like three dollars. I don't know, but I did a whole video, and I was like, you have to get this because you do. I would get it in all different colors. Great staple. Cannot say more. This tank top from Zoffel. I haven't worn it in a while, so I think I'm gonna wear it again because like it's just great, and I think it's very flattering. Boobs and abs together, great. I used to walk around LA when I first moved here in this one because. I felt like the less shape that I got, the less trouble I would run into. Nobody looked at me. I wore these with like mid-length shorts. I love this tank top, also from Truffle Clothing, where the leather pants were from. Unique color, I like the cut of it. It doesn't like bulge your fat. It's just a great tank top to have. There's two pieces of material together. I'm honestly not making a lot of progress with these because I love all my tank tops. It's easy and I have nothing to complain about them. Plus, you gotta always change it up. This is also from AliExpress. I found this one very recently when I went home for Christmas. And I just wanted to show you because I thought it was a really cool tank top. It's like diagonal in the front. Usually I'm not a color girl, but it's nice to have it. But we have one occasion where I want to be bold and this is what I'm gonna wear. I literally hate this tank top. If you want it, Please take it and donate it. It's a weird cut. I don't know what it's doing. This is a great bralette. It's from Urban Outfitters. It's just a good basic to have. Last time I wore it was like a year and a half ago and I haven't worn it since. I'm donating it. My hair looks weird. I'm getting really tired of trying on all my tops. I wear them once every six months maybe, but that's okay. It doesn't take up that much space in my closet. Bodysuit though, which is like crisscross all the way in the back. I'll insert a picture because I don't want to put it on. Donating it. Wrap around, tie around here. You know what I'm talking about, like these shirts. Donating it. Oh, actually this bodysuit from Madewell, so nice. Like it feels like suede, but it's not suede. And I just never wear it. Mock neck, sleeveless bodysuit. This for $10. Well, also I have a bunch of bags. This tote, which I hate wearing the wave on the outside, so I always just flip it as if no one can see it when I turn to the other side. But you know, let me let me pretend. I really enjoy that bag, so keeping that. This bag I like, but I don't wear often. I think because I have another chocolate bag, and that one is like smaller. I'm going to sell this if you want it, ten dollars. It's like really nice. Crop it out, print. Why am I selling this? I don't know. Again, I don't wear this one often either. I think it's just too light of a color. And I wear a lot of light colors, so it looks funny, but I'll try to wear it more. This is from AliExpress. It was $7, so go get you one. It's from Yes Style. Again, watch my haul. Please. It's too vacation-y for me, I guess. Or, I mean, it's really cute. See, the problem is, the problem is, I think I don't need these things and I put it on. I'm like, actually, that's really cute. I could really get rid of this. Um, I ten dollars. I don't wear fanny packs, so I'm probably gonna donate this. Unless you want it, that's really nice. It's like quilted. Cute. Okay, still selling it though, because where am I gonna wear it to? I have this one, which you've definitely seen before. This one I wear all the time. It's from Princess Polly. This one. Those, all those three were from Princess Polly, um, and they're. I mean, this one I think I like the least. It's just that you just you always need a black crossbody. Denim jacket, cotton on. I don't really wear crop jackets at all, but it is a good one to have. Maybe it'll come back to me. Very distressed. I've literally never worn this once. There's padded shoulders. I will sell this to you for $10. Brown blazer, I just got this from a Yes Style haul. It was so expensive. I remember looking at the price. There's a whole price thing in that video that you're gonna have to see experience yeah i don't need this i really don't ten dollars all right yet another blazer i don't need a bunch of blazers and shit because i wear scrubs for professional settings i think i'll keep it i like how it's like long and oversized love this blazer definite keep there's just no way i'm getting rid of this it's from princess polly london fog this is my auntie's and i love this jacket i used to wear this all the time wade Heat. I wore this for my interview at USC and I felt extremely cool in it. I fucked up my interview, but it's okay because I'm here now, so. <laughs> yeah, this is a great blazer. It's from H&M. Definitely check out their business attire. They do it well. Nice shape. This has like mini shoulder pads, so it's not too much. Totally like distressed it and like cut up shit. I was going through a phase. 
I don't know. It is cool, but like, where am I wearing this, you know? Aww, this is such good times. I wore this all the time in Pittsburgh, like Sherpa, like, robe almost. It's from AliExpress. Sorry, I keep forgetting to tell you what these things are from. A classic teddy jacket, and I wore it a lot. I just don't need it here. Next, this massive yellow winter coat. Go-to winter coat in Pittsburgh. Like, I love this thing. It's so puffy and just so large. No, I don't want to get rid of it, but at the same time. Now, this is a raincoat, and it says subtle. Oh, it says away on the back. This is like a streetwear brand. Don't even rain here, so what do I need this for, you know? This was very expensive, so it makes me feel bad that I'm just going to donate it. So I'm going to sell it in 15 10 Super cute and I'm gonna keep it. This one might come out of shock because I wear this like in every outfit. I think I have to let this go so I can get another one. Leather trench coat, baby. Not the trench coat that I love. And this one I can't sell because it's just, I love the color. I can't get something else like this, you know? And therefore, key. I look disheveled. Um, I can't explain to you right now how tired I am. Maybe it's because I haven't drank water. This is actually exhausting. Like, you should try trying on all the clothes in your closet. We've made a lot of progress. There's actually space back here now. Getting rid of all of these jackets, jackets, jackets. All this space is empty. Here's my jeans pile. My jeans pile looked like it got taller, but that's just because I moved things to where it's supposed to be. We're gonna tackle the sweaters and sweatshirts another day. Look how clean the tank tops is now. We still gotta work on that one. Honestly, honestly, I've made a mess of my bed and I have to put away all these clothes and I don't think I'm gonna have that much energy to talk about these dresses. Plus, I'm not gonna be entertaining. I'm not gonna be entertaining when I'm don't have the energy. That video will be coming up next. I'm sure I'll be getting rid of a lot of dresses. I hope so because I don't need that many. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you like and subscribe and that's all I have to say so I will see you in a later video. Bye!